Well, World Spay Neuter Day is coming up on Tuesday. It's a day to highlight the importance of spaying or neutering your pets. And we have Andrea Engel, Bailey Williams, and Cami Sampson here from Girl Scout Group 1241 to tell us why the Girl Scouts feel this event is important and how you can participate. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. It's incredible to have you on. So let's start with you, Andrea. Why are you guys here today? Um, we're here today to raise awareness for World Spay and Neuter Day, as you said. Um, uh, we all have pets at home, so this raises our concern about the amount of homeless pets in entering shelters each year. So, yeah. Well, it's great to, to raise that point. It's so important. I don't think a lot of people really think about it all the time, so it's mm -hmm. a big deal that you guys are doing this. So when is it actually going to take place? I mentioned Tuesday, but what else sort of goes into that? It's always the last Tuesday of each February, so okay. it would be the 28th. Perfect, good to know. And tell us a little bit, Cammie, about how the event got started in the first place. Uh, the Doris Day Animal League started it in 1995. Um, they merged with the Humane Society in 2006, and since then, the Humane Society has continued it, and they have since called it World Spay Day. Good to know. And you're the, you're the pro at, when it comes to spaying and neutering, and why is it important uh, when it comes to our pets that we should do that for them? Well, for your female pets, they don't have any heat cycles. Mm -hmm they have a reduced risk of cancers and mammary gland tumors, and they have a reduced risk of pyometra, which is a uterine infection. Okay. Um, for your male pets, they have a reduced risk of various cancers. They have a reduced risk of, actually no, they, um, they don't m mark their territory and uh -huh. they have a calmer behavior. Um, some vets say that you should spay new to your pets or spay your pet before their first heat cycle, which is around seven months, and neuter your pets are from the ages six to eight months. Well, not only does it benefit the pets, but then you don't have a crazy, rowdy <laughs> pet that's going to do crazy things yeah. in your house. So that's a good point to bring up. So Bailey, tell me, what sort of made you interested in this topic? Well, since it's our silver award, it has to be sustainable. And so we thought, well, telling the um, telling Southern Arizona would be good for, because so many people are breeding their pets, and it. It, so many homeless animals are going out into the streets and we didn't like the idea of that so we were like oh well let's do this. Wonderful and I mean that's a great idea it's sustainable you know it's never going to stop pets are never going to stop making other pets you know mm -hmm. um, so obviously this is going to go to support also the Humane Society of Southern Arizona do you guys know how many pets enter the shelters each year? Um, according to the website they said there's six to eight million pets entering shelters each year which is sad. That is sad. People, people need to go and adopt them. Mm -hmm. You know, people often go and, and buy dogs that are from breeders or from other places, but they should really go first to the Humane Society. They might find the perfect pet for them. Yeah. We had one on the show yesterday. It was the cutest thing. So if people really want to learn more about this, uh, what, how can they get involved and what can they do? Um, they can go to the website and they can adopt animals at ABC, which is Animal Birth Control. They can go to any local pet shelter, really. Okay, very good to know. And so, Bailey, tell me, uh, do you have any pets yourself? Yes. They do. And, of course, they got spayed and neutered. Yes. And it changed their behavior, didn't it? It made them, uh, you know, a lot nicer of a pet. And, of course, it's important to do that for our pets' health and for our houses. And, and it's going to make our lives a little bit more peaceful. So, ladies, is there anything else you want to leave us with before we go? Well, I guess we should say the places they can get spayed or neutered. Yeah. So, there's Animal Birth Control Center, the Humane Society. There's Santa Cruz Pet Clinic and um, obviously your local vet. Okay, excellent. Well, lots of good details, ladies, for all of this. I'm going to tell them where they can go to learn a little bit more information, and I want to thank you so much for coming on today. Thank, thank you. you. Absolutely. Now, guys, once again, World Spay Day is next Tuesday, the 28th, and to support the Humane Society of Southern Arizona, call 327-6088 or visit 